In this video, I will provide an introduction to the Stata software. So I assume that you have purchased the Stata license, you have downloaded the software, and you have executed it, and you're ready to get to learn Stata. So what you need to do here is download the program, uh, Introduction to Stata, and then double click on it to open it. Um, or alternatively, if you open Stata, uh, you can go in File, Open, and then open up this file. The easiest way to learn Stata is to try to open an existing program. So this program is called uh, Zero Introduction to Stata dot do. It has a dot do um, extension, which is the extension for Stata programs. Um, so here we have the program, which is the .do file, and here we have uh, what we call an output window. And how we get to write in the output window is if you um, click on uh, this button here, which is uh, execute or do command, and basically that would execute the program, and this is what we are going to see here as the output window. So today what I will talk about in this introduction to Stata video is how to set up the data sets that we have, how to explore the data, how to edit the data, how to export regression output, and we will end up with creating log files. The data set that I will use today is called wage1.dta. So .dta is the extension uh, for uh, data files. So .do was the extension for the program itself. So introduction to Stata .do, uh, and the data files are .dta extension. So wage1.dta. So the first thing to do is download the data set from the website and then store it somewhere on the computer. And so for me, this uh, data is located in the folders uh, on my C drive, econometric slash data. And so you need to change this part here in the program uh, where the data is stored on your computer in order for you to be able to run uh, this program. Uh, so I also have changed here, um, I have used and set up a global directory. So global, and I'm calling this data directory because uh, all of the data sets that I have are in this folder and I can call them from this folder. And so later on, when I want to use the data set, I will use the uh, use command. And then uh, here, this is the data directory slash wage one. And this wage one would be calling up this file wage one dot DTA. So comma clear means that if there's any other uh, file in the memory, it's going to be cleared and rewritten with this file. So now you can accomplish the same thing uh, by just changing the directory here. If you do a CD, change directory, and then uh, I use this directory here, and then you could just call it simply by saying use wage one comma clear. So that would accomplish the same thing, um, but I'm using a global statement here for the data directory. There are a couple more things to mention here. Uh, one of them is clear all that also clears everything that is currently uh, in memory so that the program could be rerun multiple times by coming here and uh, running the program. And set more off just turns off uh, the more uh, button when uh, the program is executed. So these are some of the things. So another thing that we can do here is um, to create a log file to save the output. So how we're doing this is by saying log using, we're giving it a name and I currently call this the log file, comma replace. And so comma replace meaning uh, if, if uh, this log file exists, next time we run the program, we're going to be replacing this file. 
So this is useful because as we're running the program, all of our results are going to be stored in the log file. So anything that you see here in the output window is going to be stored in this uh, log file that we can uh, later read and, and uh, basically would have all of the results uh, stored. Okay, so this is basically how to set up the data. Uh, so now let's uh, go ahead and explore the data. So the first thing that we would be doing uh, is to describe the data. And so um, so here in the output window, just to backtrack a little bit, here's the log file that is starting to be created. And it's saying this is where this, the log file is going to be stored. This is the name of the file. That's the extension of the file. And um, basically, every time we run a file here in the output, we would see what uh, has been done. So as we're exploring the data, uh, if we execute describe, uh, this is what we are going to see. These are all of the variables in the data set. So here we have the variable names. And typically here, there are the labels for these variables. However, this data set in particular is not very well documented. So we have the variable names being repeated here. But uh, oftentimes this would say something like um, wage measured in dollars, uh, and that would be hourly waged, education measured in number of years. Uh, so something like that, these labels are going to be uh, like that. So if we don't want to be looking at all of the data set, uh, we can actually um, just describe a few variables of interest. And here we would be describing uh, wage, education, and experience. And as you can see now, we're just describing wage, education, and experience. So this is much, um, uh, much shorter. If we want to list and see the first few observations of the data, what we can do here is use the command list. And here we have wage uh, and then education and experience. In 110 means uh, just the first 10 obs uh, means from the first to the 10th observation. And here's from the first to the 10th observation. Here we have wage, education and experience. Uh, so this is for the first person, for the second person, and for the third person. If we want to see where the data is, we can actually click on the data editor, and we can actually also look in the data just like that. Um, but we can also list it in the um, output uh, window as well. So the next thing is to come up with summary statistics. And here we would use summarize. Uh, if we use summarize, we will get the summary statistics for all of the variables. Um, and then we can also summarize uh, only uh, a, few, a few variables. So here summarize summarizes pretty much all of the variables. So what we see is the number of observations, mean, standard deviation, min, and max. And if we are using summarize, um, of these uh, three variables that we're interested in. Uh, here's what we're going to have as far as mean, standard deviation, min, and max. And these are the uh, output that we can actually provide in tables. If we want a little bit more information on a particular variable, we can use summarize, then put the name of the variable wage, common detail. And here are a lot more detailed statistics. So. We have the mean standard deviation. Um, we also have the percentiles, the first from the first to the 99th percentile. We also have the smallest and the largest uh, values. So sometimes we need to look into more details for a particular variable. We can also provide summary statistics by group. Uh, if we use tabulate a female, this provides um, a frequency uh, table for females. So here we have, if female equals one, we have 252 observations. And if female equals zero, we have 274 observations. These are the percent frequency and the total number of observations uh, we, we have here. So now we can also summarize the data. 
uh, if female is equal to one, uh, so summarize the variable wage if female is equal to one. Notice here that we use the double equal sign if it's equal to one. Uh, and we need to say which variable here. So we're summarizing uh, wage for females, and this is the average wage for females. Or if we want to uh, summarize for both males and females, how we're going to do this uh, using by sort females. So here we're sorting the data uh, by the variable female, and then we will be summarizing wage. So what comes uh, with this command as far as output is we will summarize the wage if female is equal to zero. This is basically the wage for males. And then we will summarize the wage if female is equal to one. So this is the average wage for females uh, here. The next thing that we can do now is uh, edit the data. So we can keep or drop variables. And um, so here we can use the command keep, uh, and these are all of the variables that we um, uh, would keep here. And so the rest of the variables are going to be dropped from the data. Or if it's going to be easier, perhaps we can just drop a particular variable such as tenure. And um, here we kept it, but now we're dropping it. So we, uh, we can also drop a particular variable if we no longer need it. So another thing that we can do is drop if wage is less than two. So if we have uh, certain um, values for a variable that we want to drop, we can use this command. So notice that while keep and drop here refer to the variable itself or to the columns in the data, drop if wage is less than two would actually delete certain observations in the, in the data that have wage less than two. So it would delete certain rows in the data. So the next thing we can do is we can actually label the variables because um, again, this data set in particular was not very well labeled. So we can put label variable, and then we can say the name of the variable and then how we want it to be labeled. So here we could put hourly wage in dollars. And you see now when we use describe wage, uh, we can see wage here, and then this is the label of, of the wage. So the nice thing about using DTA files uh, with Stata is that not only that the variable names and all of the values of the data are stored like an Excel file, but it also has this other uh, useful information such as variable labels. The next thing we can do here is we can generate new variables. So that is done with the command generate or gen for shorter. So here we can generate log wage, which would be equal to log of wage. Um, we can also generate education squared, which would be equal to education to the power of two. Or we can generate um, a region called Southwest by summing up South and the West, uh, the uh, observations that are in the South and in the West. So this is a way to just generate new um, variables. So the last thing we are going to do here is export uh, regression output because sometimes it's useful to do that if we need to create tables. So um, these um, lines here, uh, I have put a star in front of them. So anything that has a star in front of them is commented out. So Stata is not uh, reading it. So here we would need to do it only one time. And this would mean to install the outreg2 package. And so if we remove the star uh, in front of these commands here, uh, we, we would be installing this um, uh, outreg2 package. So actually we need to remove the star here and execute this line only once. So this SSC install, uh, this would be installing the outreg2 package uh, and 
this package actually later on we could uh, be calling it so that uh, we can generate a nice table. So I'm going to put the star back on here because I have it uh, installed on my computer. So again, you need to do this only once. So how are we going to do that? The first thing is uh, let's estimate a simple regression model. So the way we're doing this is by using reg or regress. And here wage is the dependent variable and education is the independent variable. So uh, reg of wage and education would estimate the regression model and the regression model is given here. And so here we have wage, the dependent variable, education, the independent variable. This is the coefficient uh, that we have here. So it means for one additional year of education, the wage would increase by 53 cents. Uh, so there are a lot of uh, also additional uh, statistics here from this table that we will be discussing later on. But for now, we're just interested in exporting a results in table. So here's how we're going to do this. Um, we will call this outreg2 package. Then we will say using, and I'm giving this file name, um, I, I'm gonna call it uh, regression table dot doc. And here comma replace, if we have any file, we would actually be replacing this file. Uh, and so uh, then let's say that now we want to estimate a multiple regression model. Uh, so how we are going to do this is uh, estimating a multiple regression model. So now in addition to education, we have an experience. So here we're running a regression of wage, which is the dependent variable, education and experience, which are independent variables. And these would be the coefficients that we get from this model. So let's export uh, also these results in table. And so we are going to be using outreg2 using the same file. And if we put comma append here, this is going to append to the, um, the previous file that we have. So again, these are nice tables that get generated that could be used later on. Um, later on. So the final thing that um, uh, we, we could be doing here is uh, log close. And if you remember, we opened the log file before and now we're closing it. So everything that was actually done in this output uh, window here uh, was saved in this log file. So if you go on your computer where the data files are, um, uh, where, where currently the programs are, you could actually see this uh, log file uh, in there. And um, you can basically uh, save all of this regression output here. So this was a very quick uh, introduction to Stata. Thank you very much for watching and please uh, see the other videos.